What is up guys and welcome back to another video and today we're gonna go over five Marvel characters that can beat the Flash. Before we get on the video, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe and let's get straight on the video with number 10, Thor. Thor, as many of you know, is extremely powerful even without his legendary hammer, Mjolnir. His physique is far superior to any human. With this extreme strength, endurance, resistance, and access to the Odin Force, Thor might arguably be one of the strongest heroes in the Marvel Universe. He even put a dent in what was thought to be Captain America's indestructible shield. And with this hammer, his abilities are even more powerful. Having the ability of flight and the hammer allows the God of Thunder to travel at high speeds but not matching the Flash's speed. However, the Scarlet Speedster's defeat comes into play when Thor could use his hammer to follow the Flash, like how he did with his hammer against numerous villains in the past. He could even take the Flash and fly him into space where the speedster would die. And if both of these don't work, when Thor temporarily became the Rune King, he basically became immortal and his powers were heightened immensely. So with this, the hammer and his already impressive skills, the Flash would be outmatched by Thor's strength and hammer. Number 4 Runner When you've been around for as long as Runner has, you're bound to be pretty powerful. Being one of the elders of the universe, which is a group of villains that have existed for a long period of time. He spent his billions of years in existence traveling the universe in search of complete freedom, fighting the likes of Galactus along the way. The Runner has an extreme array of powers at his disposal that make him quite the formidable foe for the Scarlet Speedster. Not only can he run at about the same speed, if not faster than the Flash, as it is noted that the Runner is several times faster than the speed of light, but he also holds a number of other advantages over him as well. This includes him being invulnerable, regenerative abilities, and the fact that he's immortal. On top of all this, he can also shoot strong energy blasts from his head and rearrange matter on a massive scale, all of which is thanks to the power of primordial he draws from. All these abilities culminating into one single being makes it almost certain that someone of such power would be able to take down the Flash in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Number 3 Silver Surfer Although the second original Fantastic Four movie portrayed the Silver Surfer in a less than impressive way, in the comics, the Silver Surfer is actually insanely powerful. The hero possesses the cosmic power which is, in a sense, the ability to manipulate the universe's ambient energy and feel the cosmos and entities throughout space. Obviously, any hero with such power would be extremely hard to take on and a huge threat much like Galactus. The Silver Surfer is beyond human, hell, he's even beyond an organism. He's able to convert matter into energy, meaning he does not need food, water, air, or sleep. He is also able to survive black holes and virtually any natural force that he encounters. Along with his basically instantaneous healing abilities, the list of his powers could go on for hours. Nevertheless, when it comes to a hypothetical battle between him and the Flash, it's easy to say that the Silver Surfer would take the victory. Obviously, the Flash has an advantage in speed, but the Speedster would still have to interact with the Surfer, and even if he keeps up running, he would have to replenish his energy, something his enemy would never have to do. Number 2 Sentry Despite Sentry's immense power, he isn't one of the best known characters in the Marvel Universe. But to sum the character up really quickly for those of you who are unaware, Sentry is more or less Marvel's version of Superman, but multiplied a few times. His list of powers include extreme strength, speed, stamina, senses, and the ability to fly and manipulate light and radiation. He can also come back after being killed and can absorb energy in a fight. None of this even mentions Sentry's other side, known as the Void, which has incredible destructive powers. Of course, it's impossible to be truly sure which of the two would come out on top in a fight, but the fact that Sentry is among the strongest heroes in his universe as well as never staying dead for long, and those powers he has that the Flash doesn't give us a pretty good idea. I'd imagine the fight would go something along the lines of Sentry flying up to the air where the Flash could not reach, then obliterating the entire planet if he really wanted to take it to such extreme measures. After all, Sentry has the power of a thousand exploding suns. And number 1, Thanos. We have seen Thanos in the Marvel Cinematic Universe here and there, but we really have not seen him do anything just yet. In the upcoming two-part movie, Avengers Infinity War, we will see more characters than ever and for good reasons. Thanos is incredibly powerful. A battle against the Flash would result in Thanos destroying the Speedster. Thanos would know well in advance when the Flash would even attack. Take for example when Magus became a threat to the villain. 
Thanos knew thousands of years in advance. And besides that, the supervillain has the cosmic power to diverge reality into a different multiverse, thus being able to catch the Flash in the nexus between realities. Thanos has been killed only a handful of times in the past, and on every account it was a cosmic or abstract entity that wielded power similar to himself. The truth of the matter is that characters with the ability to harness and bend the laws of the universe are just too powerful for the Flash to take on by himself. Even if the speedster managed to get a couple of hits on him, they would render useless because Thanos is just too strong. As always, thanks for watching. We hope you all enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at Valenplana, and I'll see you all later.